Hello friends, my name is Olivier Mubito from IPRS Kigali and today we are going to solve a situation that was being asked by Roshan Kumar on a YouTube, just my YouTube channel. Uh, Roshan Kumar asked me to draw or to design a circle that will respect this uh, sequence which is A plus uh, B plus B negative times 2, uh, then A negative. And uh, you can see we have a, a, a good discussion. So we need to start by understanding uh, what is a counter because as he said, we have to use a counter using up counter. So let's start by, and by knowing how a counter works. So if we have um, if we have the electrical part using, uh, let's say, this power source. On the power source, let us use 24 voltage. Yeah. And let us use zero voltage. We use a zero voltage here. And now we need to search for counter up counter we put it here you know it can count up to 100 but let's let's put four it means we need four puzzles and this counter we're going to call it uh, we're going to call it ctu the counter up now we're gonna we need to put a load let us put an output component here we are going to use a lamp, just light, and we are going to call it L. So if we connect the lamp to the output, we need the pass four passes here. So let us put a switch. We need a switch like this one, which is a push button. And we also need a reset. So this will be the input. That will be the input. And with this will be the reset. That's going to be the reset. Now there we go. It means when we supply our our lights should be on when we press here four times. We we start to count one. There's nothing, and it re, it writes one, two. You can see two. So far there is no output. Three. It writes three, and the four. It is where at four we have known the output. So to reset, we have to press here and it goes off. It means we, we, we need four passes one, two, three, four. And then the reset, it goes off. Once again, one, two, three, four. And then it goes off. So if we use a countdown, we're going to, to change this circuit. We copy and then we paste it here just on the bottom and this time we change from up but we use down that one and then again we need four So we link here and then again let us link that, that one and then the reset here. Okay. Okay. 
again we, su we supply again so far it is four it means we need four puzzles or we need four times in order to have the output but it will be counting down from four to zero but the ctu start from from zero to four let me write this uh, the name it is C ctd it means down the ctu starts from zero to four but the ctd starts from four to zero so we start on the ctd one sorry one two three and four it means we have the output at the fourth push pu pu pushes we reset we start again one two three and four now it is counting from four to zero but here if we start it starts from zero to four one two three and four so now after understanding the way the the counter works let's go to our circuit in order to solve this situation So in our circuit, we will need the power source. I go with 24 power source, we already have it. Now we need the switches, the stop and the start. We go to switch and then we search for stop. And then we need a start. And then we need a coil. So we go to output component and then we search for a coil. And we're going to call it CM to mean main coil. And we link it there. And this needs a hold on. So we put a normal open contact. And we call it or we link it to CM. So that's CM. There we go. This is going to be our S0 to mean stop. And that's going to be S1 to mean start. Okay. So we need to extend this line up to here, for example. And now time to use now the information is from the sensors or the proximity sensors or proximity switches so we start with the first proximity we go to search for it just here anomaly open and then let me put it here and then we will need an anomaly close contact And then we will need uh, an output coil, which is called to C1. We call it C1. Now, like that. And then we will need the hold on here. So we go to the contacts and then we search a hold on like this. Okay. We will need a coil, a solenoid. So we go to output component and then we search a solenoid. This is a solenoid. And we're going to call it Sol1. We immediately link to the to the C1 to mean when the C1 get energized, also the surround of one will be energized. And then 
we go to another uh, we need another contact limit switch or proximity switch which is also normally open and we need another proximity switch but this time normally closed again we need two normally closed contacts so this is the first one and that is the second one and finally we need coil and a solenoid so we go to the output component we put a coil and then we call c2 and uh, we immediately put a solenoid and let's go solo 2 and we link now we need a hold on here so we put a normally open contact which will help us to hold now we go to counters I want to put counters, so we go to counter. Mr. Roshan Kumar asked me to use up counter. So an up counter, I'm going to pick it here and then I draw it here. And uh, because it is two twice, so we use two. And then we assign, we assign its name as CTU1. Okay, and this counter needs a coil, so we put an output here, and let us call it C3. This is a set, and this is a reset, so we, are, we need a, a, a limit switch here, or a limit a proximity sensor there. So we go to contact, we search for proximity sensor, which is this one. And then we link it here. And we need a contact, normally open contact, which will be resetting. And we link it here. So we duplicate this function. We are going to copy and to paste it just down here because we shall use the same situation. And this we change this from C3 to C4. We change this CTU to 2. Okay. and we change this to another proximity switch just that one like that Okay, now let us assign the values. Starting with the first one, this is 1RS1. It is 1RS1. And this will be the, this will be this coil C4. Again, here we have a C4, and this will be the C3, and this will be, uh, it will be 1RS2, 1RS2, and uh, this is the hold on for C1. This is C1, 
and this is C2. We are just assigning the values, and this will be the 2RS2. We move here. This is uh, it is also 2RS2. And this is this one, it is C4. So this will be 2RS1. And finally, this is the 1RS1 to restart the system. And then we need, we have already the solenoid are linked. I mean this sol one, this sol two. So I think it's time to simulate. We are going to simulate. This, if we press one, S one, the first cylinder goes, comes back, yes, and the cylinder two do the same, and then the system restarts once again. So I think Mr. Roshan Kumar, now you can see the situation, the way it is working. And if we try to simulate this cylinder here, just here, I think you can see it is doing twice before the first comes back. So the simple, it is to understand the way the counter works. It means it receives two puzzles in order to, to have the output. And then when we, we reset the counter, it starts once again. So thank you guys for watching my video. Please uh, click on subscribe and uh, I need other more comments. Thank you. Thank you. And I dedicated this circuit to Mr. Roshan Kumar. Thank you guys. Mm -hmm.